What's happening guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Great to see you here again. Today we're going to be talking about keyframes in the color tab. So let's jump into the video. All right, guys, so today we're talking about keyframes in the color tab. So this is kind of building on the video I put out last week. And if you haven't seen that, I'll link to it up here. Go check that out. It's going to give you a good basic understanding of keyframes, how they work, how to use them, how to add them in and all that good stuff in the edit tab. But there were some questions about how to use keyframes in the color tab. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. I'm going to show you how to take a clip and make it go from color to black and white here in the color tab. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and check it out. All right, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. I've got the same clip up that we used in the last video to learn how to use keyframes. And I'm in the color tab here. So you can jump into the color tab with one of your clips. So what do I need to do to make a color change on this clip? So the first thing that I want to do is come over to my nodes. If you don't have your nodes open, you can click this little button on the top of the screen. That'll open up your nodes. So I've already made a few simple color corrections and some sharpening to this clip. So now I want to add in a new node and I'm going to do that by pressing option S. Then you also can rename it. I'm going to call it black and white because I want this picture to fade to black and white. So that's what we're going to try and do here. So the next thing you want to do is make sure you've got your keyframes open on the bottom right hand side of the screen here. If you don't see your keyframes, you can click on this little icon, which is your keyframe icon. If you have one of these other ones selected, you might see your parade or some other waveforms or some information, but you can go ahead and click on the keyframes. If for some reason you don't see your keyframes down here, you can come up to workspace and take a look at show panel in workspace and make sure that uh, the right items are checked on here. My keyframes is grayed out. I'm not sure why, but uh, if you don't see yours, you can check here and see if you can get it to come up that way. So what's the first thing I need to do when I want to make this video go from color to black and white? So I have my node selected and I want to come down into my keyframes. So when we look on the left hand side of our keyframes here, you notice there's different headings here. It says corrector one, two, three, four and sizing. So the corrector number corresponds to your nodes up here. So I created that new node. It's number four. So that's the corrector that I want to use down here. Corrector number four. So if I click on this little drop down menu here, you'll see all the different items that we can add keyframes for right here in the color tab. So similar to how it looks in the inspector over in the edit tab, we have our little diamond, which allows us to drop a keyframe and you have the option to select the diamond that's right next to color corrector. And it's going to add a point for all of these items. So you can do that. It just depends on what you want to add keyframes for. Let's say that maybe I don't want to do that. And I just want to add a corrector for the color to change to black and white. So I know that down here, color corrector is the one that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and turn it on. Once I've selected the keyframes that I want to add, I'm going to come ahead in my clip here to where I want to start to make the change. So right here, I know that I want it to stay full color. So right here is where I want to start to make a change. So there's a few ways that we can add a keyframe here. What I'm going to do is right click and I'm going to come and add dynamic keyframe. So if you noticed in this menu, you have static and dynamic keyframes. Dynamic keyframes means from one keyframe to the next, make a gradual change. Whereas static keyframes means as soon as you hit that keyframe, make the change. Don't gradually change from one keyframe to another. So now I want to move ahead a little bit in my clip. And let's say by right there, I want it to be full black and white. And I want it to fade from color at this keyframe to full black and white right here. So now to add that keyframe here to make the image black and white, I can just come over to my saturation. I'm going to click and drag it down to zero. And if we look back at our keyframes here, you notice you see a little uh, triangle on each side. And that means it's going to fade from whatever was set at this keyframe to whatever you set at this keyframe. And in our case, we're going from full color to black and white. So if I come back here and I play through the clip and we watch our viewer over here, I hit the keyframe and it's going to fade to black and white. And by the time we get to this keyframe, it'll be black and white. So that's the basic concept of how you would add keyframes here in the color tab. And you can do this with any one of the tools in the color tab here. So now let's say I want this clip just to go straight to black and white. So I've deleted out the keyframes I had. And let's say right here, I want it to change from color to black and white. Here's how I do that. I come to the point where I want to make the change. I'd right click I'd hit add static keyframe. Then I would move ahead one frame and then I would just take the saturation and drop it down to zero. And we can zoom in on our keyframes here with this little slider right here. And you can see that's one frame right there. So now if I back up and I play, as soon as we hit that keyframe, boom, it goes right to black and white. 
All right, guys, there you go. Keyframes in the color tab. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. If you liked the video, learned a little something, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.